Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on finding trigger values for special angles. We're interested in finding cosine 360, cosine minus 90, and tangent 90. Uh, in this clip, I'm hoping to give you a shortcut, something you can take onto your exam and never be troubled with those questions again. Uh, 360, you go around, you end up over here. So what you want to do is draw a unit circle and write the angle's termination in coordinate. For us, is 1, 0 here. Okay, so this is a 360 degrees going around the circle once. Okay, next thing I want you to remember is the first value, x value, is cosine of the angle. Okay. And y value is the sine value. Now, how on earth are you going to remember that? I had a student a while back, and we come up with this um, crazy way to remember it. X value is cosine. Sounds like x crossing or crossing, maybe pedestrian crossing sign. Y value is the sine. We come up with the saying, why do you want sine a paper? Y sine crossing. Okay, so from those little two tricks, then you know that cosine 360 is going to be the, which one is going to? X value. Okay, so 1. All right, and then let's try next one. At the end of the clip, I'll explain what I think works, but for now, let's just use it. Minus 90 going backward counterclockwise, you end up over here. Let's write the termination point. So let's write the coordinate. Minus, oh, no, minus 1. It's a 0, minus 1. Okay, so again, x crossing. So cosine of minus 90 is the x value equal to 0. All right, now one more to go. And we're interested in the tangent of 90. Tangent is equal to sine of 90 over cosine of 90. So we're basically looking for this angle going counterclockwise. Let's write the coordinates down. And we have 0, 1. Okay, so tangent of 90 is sine. Remember, y sine, so this is the sine value. Sine value here. So sine is equal to 1, but cosine equal to 0. So this is undefined. Okay, so here's a pretty easy way to handle it. Once again, this is kind of remember. Remember that crossing sign or pedestrian cross sign, cross sign, and why do you want the sign in paper? Okay, now let's explain why that thing works. Now before we do that, let's have a math break. See this raccoon here? There's another one behind it, and then there's a kid feeding the raccoon, and then there's a parent. Look at the kid upside down just to feed the raccoon. Bad parenting. All right, back to math. Why does it work? It works because how we introduced all those things at the first place. We have a 30 degree angle, 45 here, and you have a 60, 30, 60 backward. Okay. So for those special angles, actually, there's another shortcut. You have a sine value here, and you have a 30. 45, 60, okay, and then you have the cosine. Here's a quick way to remember it. You go 1, 2, 3, put a radical on, divide it by 2. Okay, if you want to check it somewhere. And for cosine, it's completely backward. 3, 2, 1, put a radical on and divide it by 2. The, way, the reason that this one works using the ending arm is, take a look at 30 degrees over here. I'm running out of paper here, but if I had 30 degrees over here, I'm forcing the hypotenuse to be 1 using unit circle. And then the ending arm here has to have radical 3 over 2 and a half as the coordinate. Okay, now watch carefully. Sine is half, so the y value is sine 30, right, which we said earlier, think of a y sine a paper, and then x value is the cosine 30 degrees. 
as we said before, think of a pedestrian cross sign. All right. Hope this one helps you. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.